everyone, this is Ben with you back in the model shop. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who's recently subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate that. I get the little email notifications, you know, on my phone. And uh, that means a lot because I only have 11 days off a month right now with the way my work schedule is. And I should rephrase that. I only have 11 days at home uh, right now with my current work schedule. So. Uh, time's tight, and but when I see all those notifications of people subscribing, it's, it really encourages me to think about the next video, the build, what I'm going to do, and, and uh, how to pull that all together. So anyway, I really appreciate that. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, today's video, it's not super exciting, but I try to make it informative. Uh, we start work on the upper deck, the main deck to the superstructure as we start to go up. There's a lot of little parts on there. We have to detail all of them, put them together, and I also address uh, a problem I had when I first started modeling, and that was filling in seams, because when I first started, all I had was the, the white squadron putty that I'd buy at Walmart, and it always came out pretty much already dry, and it wouldn't stick in the seam, and it was hard to mess with. So now um, I have a, a different method for small seams that I'll go ahead and cover in this video and you'll see what progress we've made on the ship. I think it looks nice, it's starting to come along and uh, it's setting the stage for the next things that we have to do. So uh, without further ado, let's get in, into it. So moving along, this is the uh, upper deck, well the main main deck to the superstructure uh, that I had to, if you recall in previous videos, I had to add some uh, little filler pieces to to get to fit correctly but uh, went ahead and got my last piece of this um, scaledex.com this is their uh, wooden deck installed and I just wanted to point out a couple of quick things about uh, putting this on it, it went on fine there was no trouble at all um, just had to do a little planning on the back here as you can see uh, there are these little locator pins that cause it to not sit flat and I, I wanted to get this deck glued on perfectly flat without any trouble and as you can see we'll zoom in a little bit here I had zero trouble with the edge of the deck that is 100 uh, percent glued down nice and flat no trouble at all and <clears throat> pardon me the way that I did that was I took a soft t-shirt this is my you know my rag one of my rags anyway and I unfolded it like so so it's nice and soft uh, glued the deck thoroughly uh, up got plenty of glue on all the wood all the way to the edges and then glued the actual plastic deck with all the edges stuck it on and put it down like this this allowed me to stack a whole bunch of paint bottles on here and then I put all giant pile of heavy books on it to push it down evenly so you had nice even pressure down into the t-shirt which gave a nice even um, pressure application to the, the deck so anyway that's how I did that the little t-shirt trick and it worked out really well alright so next thing let's take a look at the instructions uh, we've got all of these little parts um, for the guns that need to be attached to the deck and so First thing I did is removed one so we could check the fit. Let's take a quick look at that. Alright, so here's a piece that I went ahead and, and just, it's just dry fitted stuck on here. I want to check for a couple things. One, um, you know, there, the deck is a little bit thicker so you're not exactly sure how it's going to sit, but this obviously went in. It clicked in. It was actually kind of hard. And the only gap I have is right here. Right underneath you can see that spot right right in there uh, not really worried about that I think once this is all pin up gray you're really not going to notice it and then if we move it back here there's a, you could see a little bit of a spot right in there and that is not a reflection of this wooden deck at all this that's that's just the way the, the piece fits because you have big gaps everywhere uh, these holes that you're you're putting the little care pins in the wooden deck is ex sized exactly um, to the size of the plastic opening so you would you would still have that gap no matter what so anyway uh, 
there's a whole slew of these that you saw in the instructions. I'm going to pull those all out, clean them up, test fit them, get them all painted, and then we'll install them. Uh, let's just take a peek. On the next page, you've got a gazillion more little parts that go on. And then eventually, uh, you get to the guns. I'll probably hold off on those. And then we start getting into more of the uh, superstructure assembly itself. And when we get to this stage, probably going to glue the deck in the position. I like having it out for obvious reasons right now, like this, because it makes it really easy to work on. Uh, but at a certain point, you know, there's a little bit of a flex to it. You see that. This is going to need to be tacked down. It's going to need to be secured and be flat at some point here to make sure everything fits correctly. So I'm going to get as much done as we can with it sitting like this because it makes it a nice, easy little project. All right, uh, let's press on when I've got a bunch of stuff installed. All right, we've got some painting done. Uh, we installed those pieces, and we're also working on putting the hatches on with some of the photo etch that has to get painted. Uh, all of these lockers uh, have been installed and painted. And then over here we've got some additional trunks and lockers that we're going to paint up and they will get installed next. And of course a couple of those hatches. So, uh, making some progress here. Uh, we'll come back with that stuff installed. Hey Al. We had a snowstorm today. Here's the snow plow coming through. Uh, a good 10 inches fell. Well, he's going to do a terrible job. This guy, he always just plows right through that intersection and then just leaves a pile of snow over here. Anyway, we got about 10 inches of snow um, and the bush is all gone. Time to show a little bit more progress here. All right, so I didn't get a lot done. I'm just I'm just moving along a little bit here. I still have all these pieces left to paint and I started looking I'm like, oh, there's other things here that uh, I can build up and shoot at the same time. But you can see up there in the instructions you got to build uh, these two sections. And so what I did for this one just as a kind of a proof of concept um, inside it all glues together a square but there's a little recess uh, I went ahead and put each of these pieces in where they're supposed to go so that it fits nice and flush all the way around. And then I went ahead and dropped in a little dot of super glue on the top and then got my uh, Tamiya liquid paint, liquid, I'm sorry, uh, glue, this stuff thing, ran down inside of there so that uh, it'll all set up nicely. Um, smoothed out the top and then we've got seams right there and there there you go those don't look good what are we gonna do about that bondo bondo is what we're gonna do about that uh, this stuff is glazing and spot putty that you can get at the auto store um, I don't know it's a couple of bucks but anyway I'm gonna I'll, I'll take it out and show you uh, you just put a little bit on your finger and drop it in those lines there and you get a nice little red smooth spot. Uh, it's no good for large areas. It's perfect for small little things that you gotta fix. Let's do that real quick. Alright, I smudged a bunch out on the card because you can see a bunch of it comes out all liquidy and then you got your thicker stuff uh, just from it sitting in there a long time. So just you know, put on a glove or use your finger or whatever you want to do. And this is not rocket science. You just Put on a thin layer like that, and let's go do this seam. This, this stuff is super soft when you're done, which is why you can't use a lot of it, uh, and it sands smooth very easily. Um, this area we got to be a little bit more careful with because we got the doors here that we're trying to preserve but it, it's so easy to work with you can go ahead and and uh, sand all this stuff off knock it off there's there's I don't know what to tell you it's just it's just super simple to work with there even though I got all that extra clumped in there on that door I'm not worried about that I'll, I'll be able to knock that off really fast um, let's see here 
Let's get this finished up. That's really it. If the better, cleaner job you could do, the faster it you know dries and it's easier to to deal with. But anyway, that's it. I made a big mess there. It's no big deal, it'll come right off. And this side, I don't know if you can tell by the tone, it's already started to dry up. It's almost already hard. This will be ready to go and sand in you know three or four minutes here. I'm I'm gonna let it sit for probably ten so that it's done. We'll clean it up, smooth it all out with sanding stick, just your regular regular sanding stick, and it'll be ready for paint. So anyway, uh thought you'd like to see that pressing on. Here is <clears throat> our excuse me our piece. There's the red lines you can see the seams, a little bit of junk on the door still but no big deal. And on the back smoothed up, you know, real nice. So we'll I'll shoot this with paint and uh if there's anything that needs to be worked on it again, I can hit it with another little smudge like that on my finger, sand it off, but I I'm not that worried about it. It it gets buried in the middle of the center superstructure. Here's our other section. This is just sitting in here. Uh, again, see those seams next to the doors? I'm going to fill those. But I just dropped those pieces in so that uh, I could get it to fit right. This one goes you know, back over here. Just set it there. So as you can see, it'll get buried in the superstructure even if we mess up a little bit of that detail. But it's okay because it's good practice for when we move on to something up here that will be shown. So uh, I think we'll... Yeah, let's press on from here and get some of the stuff painted up and assembled. Okay, you cool cats. Just to follow up here. So as you can see, there are the lines and there's some little roughness on the paint. Um, I drug my nail across here and it's basically imperceivable. Um, right here on this, uh, this side, there's a little bit of a groove still. So this is what you do. You fill it in with the putty. You go ahead and give it a shot of paint and see if you need to add a little more. And we're going to put a little more on, just thin, and I'm going to go ahead and smooth this all out with a better sanding stick. Um, I guess this way is up. And uh, we'll put it on. Uh, just remember that it gets mounted right here. Uh, this, this section is actually you know, super viewable and will be seen. The only seam on seams on it are on the very back, which will get buried amongst all of this other stuff right here, and the superstructure will build up. But um, and you probably won't see very much of this, but because it's going to go like that, so you know we could go ahead and just press on without fixing this, and it wouldn't matter. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to fix it up just because I. This is basically a really boring video, I think. Uh, but it's all the progress I've made and we got to do it. So I thought I'd include something that was a little bit helpful. Um, and this is a good place to learn how to do this because if you screw it up, it's buried down in the middle here. No one's going to see it. So anyway, uh, I'll pull this all together and uh, see if we can't wrap up this show. Well, I'm going to say that's enough for right now so we can get this video moved on. Uh, I took all the little parts and got them painted up and installed at least initially here on this first part of the upper superstructure so uh, a few things let's just zoom in a little bit um, I did a lot of dry brush painting and in this light it's super exaggerated the way it's coming through what I ended up using I switched to uh, navy blue gray, navy blue gray for my dry brushing highlights uh, because it stuck out a little more, a little bit more contrasting and in this light zoomed in like this you could see that it sticks out a lot it may even seem like it's a little bit too much that's okay because you're not going to see it that close, you're going to see it from here and it's going to look like that We'll even stick it on the ship in a minute here. But you can also see that, like, at that distance, if we put a little bit of highlighting on the corners there, uh, it helps those pop out, stick out next to the eye. Uh, one of the big items here, Photo Etch, these trunks, 
Um, these all have four holes in them. And over here, there's one with three. And that was the only one that's different. That's where it goes. The rest of them all have four. I'm sorry, that one has three also. Those have three, and these have four. Uh, the problem that I ran into with them was uh, the kit comes with three holes. When you get the four hole ones, see if you look very carefully right there, you can see a little bit of the plastic left over. I had to clean all that out and then put the piece in the top. Uh, that was the only way to make it really work. And then we've got, um, well I put some little bits of rust And a few of these pieces, right there is a focus. So we're going for that super worn look. Put a little rust in under the, these pieces. You can see this turned out just fine. We'll fill in the putty, put in some rust. Got my windows installed that are super bright right now. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's what we've got done. Um, only other quick note. Let's look right here. Hopefully you guys can see this pretty well. Um, I use a toothpick just because, or I'm sorry, a popsicle stick. So when I put these three layers pieces in, I notice that I'm like, well, I bet you this layer and this layer and this layer are all supposed to be level with one another. If we do this, notice right there the middle one. Whoops, sorry. Got it. There we go. I actually got them level and flat. I had some problems when I first put it in uh, where this middle piece was actually just a little bit lower than these three. So I managed to level them off and get it to work out uh, just fine. So, got some our doors in the front there and another locker. Some little bit of rust. Alright, so let's throw it on the ship real quick. Talk about the uh, next couple of steps and what we're going to do. We'll take a look at this. All right, there it is, all installed. Well, it's just sitting on the superstructure for right now, but it looks pretty good. And as you can see, um, the lighting angle has changed a little bit here. Uh, all that weathering that I did, and if we turn the ship a little bit here, zoom out a little bit, kind of pops out, looks nice, seems to match up. So. Uh, here is the next big item. If I kind of press this down, some of you observant folks noticed that gap right there. And if we push it down, it pretty much seals up the way that we want it to be. But if I don't, it lifts up. And you can see here, up in the front, I'm holding it down. So basically the whole thing's got a little bit of a bow to it. The plastic's going like that on me. I mean, it's possible the deck glue moved it a little bit, but the, honestly, the, the deck's so thin, I, I really don't think, it was, think so. It's the, it's the deck. So, because I've kind of gotten to the end of my intermittent little pieces, excluding the gun fixtures, um, we are really at a point where it's time to glue this down like so. So that's nice and flat and secure and then the next larger sections can be installed you know confidently and we don't have to worry about uh, anything happening. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna do next. We'll glue it down, work on a base, and start with our next sub-assemblies which uh, will continue to be the superstructure here get that put in but anyway that's where we're at, where we are at so far I think it looks good I think we're we're making a battleship here it's turning out turn out all right so all right guys thanks for watching I'll get back to you when I have more progress um, with my limited days off here. Really appreciate you watching. Take care.